another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of Beyonce's Heat Seduction. So this perfume launched this year, 2016, and is the next addition to Beyonce's Heat Collection. Um, and I believe this is the 8th edition in the Heat Collection. So, before I get too far into this, let me tell you a funny story about this. So I ordered this perfume off eBay from, I believe either Spain or France or somewhere that's not in this fucking country. And somehow they thought it would be okay. I ordered the 100 milliliter and for some reason they thought it would be okay to send me the 50 milliliter. But not only did they send me the 50 milliliter, they sent me two 50 milliliters. So for some reason they thought it would be okay. Oh, we don't have any more 100 milliliters so we're just going to go ahead and send you two 50 milliliters. I was not contacted. I was not notified. I just got my package and opened up and there was two 50 milliliter bottles in here so and one of them was open like I opened up a case with eBay and everything and I don't know what the hell is gonna happen but thank god one of them was actually open um or not not sealed so that way I can actually review it for you guys so the box looks like this this time and it says Beyonce's Heat Seduction Eau de Toilette Vaporizer Natural Spray 50, 50 milliliters it's got the B on the side the B on the side the Heat Seduction on the back um the B logo on top. I really like this kind of like foily, like holds all your finger grease low, like thing that they've got going on here. Cause I think that's super, super, super cool. Like that it's really reflective. Um, I like that it isn't just like a black box with the word heat seduction on it or anything else. Like she's done with the other heats. Like this is very different from all the other ones. And then like having that gold logo on the back. Um, there's no barcode or, or no like QR scanner on this one. Like there has been in the past. Um, and then you have BeyonceParfums.com, and it's like fucked up on the edge here, um, don't know what the hell is going on with that. And then it's white on the inside of the box. So, the bottle looks like this time, the same kind of normal heat bottle that we're used to, it says heat on one side, Beyonce on the other side. It's this kind of gradient, um, yellow color. Um, the cap is very yellow, the bottom is very yellow, but this, like, almost middle section is almost clear. Clear fluid this time, and normal clear sprayer. Um, the lid does have the normal Beyonce B on top, and then you've got the gold sprayer. So, this fragrance, I will say before I get too far in my review, I was very pleasantly surprised by this. Based off of the notes, I was expecting something way different than what I got. Um, but that's not a bad thing, at all. So... Let me get into this. The top notes are Exotic Island Spices, Cocktail, Mandarin, and Dewberry. Middle notes are Ginger, ginger Lily, African Jungle, Trail, Orchid, Freesia. Base notes are Golden Amber, Musk, and Natural Labatum. Or Labatum. I don't know how you want to say that word. It don't really matter. But anyway. So. When you first spray it, you do get a little bit of that a little bit of a spice. It's not super like spicy and that's what I was expecting. I was expecting this kind of like over the top really raunchy spicy scent. I'm not a huge spice fan so I'm glad to know that the spices in this are very toned down. Um, I'm getting a little bit of the mandarin. I'm getting a little bit of the dewberry. It's not really fruity. Um, it definitely is more of a it almost adds a wetness to the top, but it's not like overly fruity. As it starts to dry down, you definitely get all of those florals. Um, none are really as like super out there descript. The orchid um, is out there, but it's not like super prominent. None of them are like overtaking of the other. I do get the ginger lily, I do get the jungle orchid, um, and I do get the freesia. They're there. They aren't, none of them overplay each other. They all kind of balance really well and give it kind of a very floral, slightly powdery, but that spice is still there. So a slightly spicy, powdery heart. Um, definitely, I feel like this name fits. I very, think it is a very seductive scent. It is very close to the skin. It's not your like normal, other people do kind of like the, like the play on the fruits for it being seductive. I like that this is a play on the florals. And it's a little bit more of a mature, um, seductive scent versus, like, a younger, sexy, you know, you get what I mean? Um, 
as it dries down, the golden amber, the musk, and the natural labatum. I get the musk, I get the amber, it's not super intensive. I feel like this is almost a sexy version of the original, um, but it's not. Like, the ver first one is very, like, heat. I mean, it is hot, it is um, sexy, it is, you know, inducing, but this one is a little bit more toned down. It's a little bit more close to the skin. It is an eau toilet, so it doesn't last. Like, it's not super, 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 super powerful. Um, I sprayed this on my wrist about, let's see, it is currently five hours ago, eight, five, six hours ago. It's still kind of there on my wrist. It's not super, like, bam. It's not like some of our other fragrances, which you can still smell for hours on end. Six hours in, I'm still getting a little bit of it there. Um, but it's not, like, super, super strong, and that isn't, you know, with it being an eau de toilette. I will say that it does, like, with the, I sprayed it twice on my wrist, and I could smell it probably about, like, if I were to just extend my elbow. So I got, like, a pretty good about maybe foot and a half bubble around me that I could smell it. Um, very, very pleasantly surprised by this. I was expecting to not like this fragrance at all. Um, I got it simply to complete the heat collection. But I was very pleasantly surprised. I could actually see myself wearing this. Um, because I was expecting it to be way spicier than it was. And I was expecting when I sprayed it on my skin for those spices to come out. And they did come out a little bit. Um, but it wasn't like overkill on the spices. I was thinking like Thai food kind of spice. Like that really kind of like oh, spice. Um, but I wasn't getting any of that. I was very, very pleasantly surprised by the soft powdery floral heart that is mixing well with the rest of the notes and you're getting that warmth from the amber and you're getting the warmth from the spices and you're getting the wetness from those berries and the mandarin at the top and i think it really really rounds itself out and creates this kind of just beautiful fragrance um definitely something if you like the previous heats i'm sure you'll like this if you're kind of on the fence about it it's definitely not the same as the original heat um or as heavy as like heat kissed or anything like that it's not super fruity as like um heat um wild orchid was so it's kind of that nice middle and i really like this more than i was expecting to i don't think this is going to be my favorite one i'm not going to say that it's super unique it is unique from what beyonce has done in the past um as a spinoff like it does have its own dna with sharing some family resemblances but i'm not going to say it's like super unique it's the most unique fragrance i've ever smelled it's not I can't think of like a fragrance off the top of my head like that I instantly go to and I'm like yeah that smells similar to it but it definitely does have a familiar familiarity is that the words I'm looking for um to this fragrance I, I have smelled something similar to it in the past um and just kind of like a general idea of a fragrance I smelled it's not like oh yeah that smells like this and this like I mean with Snooki her original one we knew we could smell it and you, you smelled it and you instantly thought fantasy there's nothing that instantly my mind goes to. It's just kind of a familiar scent. Um, lasting power, like I said, lasts about five to six hours. It's still there, but at this point, if I wanted to continue to wear the fragrance for the rest of the day, I would want to reapply it. Um, so definitely, if this is something you like, I would definitely get like a Travelo or I don't know what other body products are planned to come out with this. Um, but I definitely feel like this would be something you would want to get like a Travelo or something to continue to reapply it throughout the day if you want to stay with that being your scent. Definitely this is a safe enough scent that you could wear in an office and have it be a office signature scent. It isn't like overkill, but it's not so super close to the skin that no one's gonna know what you're wearing. So I definitely think this is a very safe fragrance to wear office-wise as well. Definitely think it is a year-round fragrance, but um, more fall, winter time, um, later spring, or earlier spring possibly, but you're looking fall, winter mostly. And definitely a daytime fragrance. I could see this transitioning in tonight. I could see you wearing this and then transitioning heat or heat kissed or alternate elixir or some or even midnight heat as your night fragrance. Um, I'm kind of just playing it on because it does hold notes that could play up some of the other heat fragrances. So there you guys go. There is my review of Beyonce's Heat Seduction. I really hope you guys enjoyed this view. Uh, review. I know you guys have asked a lot for it, so I'm very glad I was able to get it to you. No fucking clue what's going on with this whole eBay case. We'll see what happens with that. I'm just pissed. I'm like, the fact that they just didn't email me or message me or ask me if it was okay. And on top of that, I ordered it back on like the 10th of August. 
And they didn't ship it out till like the 18th of August. And then it took till now for me to get it. So I'm just utterly pissed at the way this whole thing worked. Um, but there you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, as always. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye bye.